Member for Miramichi in the gallery. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm very pleased to stand today to speak on, uh, on this <coughs> bill and happy to see it come forward again. Um, it's a really difficult topic, uh, even after a couple years, but uh, it's something that's very near and dear to my heart and, and I'm sure is, as, as it is to so many. Um, my sister and I have talked about this for years ago, many years ago. We had the conversation when we both worked in the hospital about organ donation and about how important it was and about the wait list and, uh, and what we've seen working there and that there was not enough people to, um, the wait list was long and, and there wasn't enough people, you know, that, that um, <coughs> I guess when you, when you come to a tragedy, me as a, as a mom of two boys, when I think about my kids, you know, as they're right now healthy and safe, um, I would want to give my kids. I want. I would want to uh, to donate their organs. I would want to uh, to help other people. I would want to see their see them live on in, in someone else. Um, but when a tragedy occurs, uh, like the one we had seen at home, and with our dear little four kids, then then uh, you know your mind's not even and in in the in the same space and in the same spot. So it's really, um, you know, it comes more of a shock when they, and with a time sensitive issue like that, that when somebody comes forward and says, you know, are you interested in this? And, and you haven't even dealt with the loss, let alone what to do after. So during the conversations, um, you know, we often thought about how amazing it would be to have something like this in place that it, was, it wouldn't be something that somebody thought about and it would just be automatically done. Um, so, when this tragic happened, tragedy happened with our four beautiful little kids in Miramichi, um, and the amazing and beautiful Michelle Astle had stepped forward and wanted this done. It was a huge decision, especially at that time, and for it not to happen was, was really a devastation for everyone. And I can't imagine what it would be for her and her family to go through this and, and want this so bad and not to have it. Um, when this happened uh, a couple years ago, I was, I was honored enough to be able to, to bring a motion forward for the opt-out um, the opt-out option for the organ donation and, um, and because of the election and, and what happened, it, it didn't go through. So to see it come up again um, is, is, uh, it makes me happy and uh, and I would want this more than more than anything to see this go through, and uh, and us here, and myself, and being members here, um, and to see what Avery's mom, Michelle, had had gone through for the uh, for Ave um, um, Foundation that she had started, and the uh, the dedication and and the heart and soul that she put behind this. So, there's nothing more that I would want to see than this happen. Saying that and hearing some debate and hearing the minister um, speak and the other members speak about the due diligence and the process of the legislation, um, I can understand that. I can understand, you know, the uh, the process that we have to go through uh, and the democrat de the democratic process as well. But as it's been stated, if this would have started a few years ago, we would have been much further ahead than we are now. We talk a lot about uh, consultations, and I think that's very important, having the right people, and, uh, and we want to see this done right, um, but we want to see it done. So I'm really anxious to hear more um, consultations uh, or more debate about this, and, um, and at the end of the day, I want to see this go through. I want to see this um, come to fruition for Michelle, for her family, um, and for the, for the uh, the parents and the lives of, of others that, that are going to be in the same spot and the people that are waiting uh, on this list. So um, I thank you for the, for the time to be able to, to speak on this and, um, and I can't wait to see us all come together and be able to put this through. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.